My name is uh, Dr. William Moravan. I'm a urologist uh, certified both by the Royal College of Physicians and Surgeons of Canada and by the American College of Surgeons and I'm the medical director for Maple Leaf Haifu. I have practiced urology and specifically urological oncology for 30 years with a heavy emphasis on prostate cancer treatment. For a patient with uh, organ confined prostate cancer recently diagnosed there are many options available, the traditional surgery and radiation therapy, but in my view, HIFU is one of the newer options that ought to be seriously considered by anyone with early stage prostate cancer. High intensity focused ultrasound, HIFU, treats cancer by increasing the temperature within the prostate cancer cell to 85 degrees centigrade, which essentially destroys the prostate cancer cell. With ablotherm HIFU or HIFU in general, we are often confronted by patients or on occasion physicians who allege that HIFU is experimental in nature. I would say that experimental means that neither safety nor efficacy have been proven, and that is certainly not the case with HIFU. In Western Europe, it is clear that this is safe and effective, and that uh, determination has been made by Health Canada as well. It is fair to say that HIFU is investigational, as all treatments are. We should continue to investigate ways of delivering radiation therapy or surgery or HIFU to improve these, and we should publish the results of those investigations. But HIFU is certainly well beyond the stage of an experimental treatment. Patients with uh, locally confined or organ confined prostate cancer that should certainly think of HIFU as a treatment option. It is less invasive, better tolerated than traditional options like surgery and radiation. Patients feel completely well the next day, able to travel uh, back home if indeed they come here to Toronto uh, for treatment. It is associated with few, not zero, but few uh, local side effects. And the long-term uh, follow-up with respect to cure rates particularly where long-term studies are available in Europe, uh, make it competitive with surgery or radiation in outcomes.